Greetings gamers! Pilot here and... Okay, it's working as intended. And after yesterday's amazing stream and uh, the fact that you seem to have enjoyed this particular game a lot, I would have been insane not to have another stream of the exact same day the following night. So um, here we are playing Bloodborne again. This is uh, a continuation of last night's story mode, which means I haven't really made any progress. I left it as is. So uh, we will be playing with our friend Kaburiz again. We will do his uh, Hemwick Charnel Lane and then we will proceed with other shenanigans. Okay, so he's on comms, although he won't be talking. Let's see who's here. Is the Smurf, the Baya, Panos, Dimitris, Clio, and Jimon Boxboy. There's the Cav. Okay, so we shall be going into the suit of Samuel L. Jackson once again. Let's hunt them down. Okay, so... This is Hemwick. Yes, Hemwick Charnel Lane. Cav, do we have that? The pole is tough indeed, but you are tough peeps. Okay, so it's very easy to find it, Cav. As you go towards the cathedral, right before the cathedral, to the left is Hemwick. That's where you want to go. And so that the pips will not be waiting for us, I will do some woods. I'll go into the woods and give me some wood. Volcrim, hello. Ah, the doll is sleeping. Sweetheart. So... Forbidden Woods. Starling? You mean for your house connection? Because I have no idea what Starling is. Oh, you missed. Is the game super loud, guys? Hey, Fear, what's up? Uh, no, that's not actually the problem. The problem is not the music, the problem is the sound effects. Okay. Ah, uh, no, my man, I have no idea, but whenever I see Elon Musk somewhere on something, I tend to avoid. Oh, fear. Such a compliment. I was a pixel away from getting pooped here. But I avoided that gruesome faith. Okay. I am so pleasantly surprised by the fact that the game plays so well. Sons of guns. Oh, 
Okay. Moving forward. Fear the Axe is my favorite starting weapon by far. And uh, when it comes to the damage, it's amazing. The difference between the Axe and the Saw Blade is that the Saw Blade is serrated. That's a, an attribute in Bloodborne, so it will kill beasts easier. Even if the damage numbers you see are lower than the axes. But axe has spin to win. Trivializes so many enemies. It is awesome. Yeah, Volcrim, exactly. Yeah, Bloodborne... Uh, Makes you feel uniquely powerful, something that other FromSoft games don't really do. Hey, Double Jump GR, what is up? What is up? No, 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 you're not escaping me, asshole. <laughs> yeah, to Ferris. Get a serrated weapon, a flamethrower, and you're good to go. I have nothing against Ferris. Bro, he almost killed me uh, on the trade. That would have sucked donkey balls. Kavu, yeah, bro. You have to get the handkerchief. Oh, I also got Amelia. Yeah, yeah, I got Amelia. As soon as you have the handkerchief, you can invite me to play uh, the Cathedral Ward and we can get Amelia together as well. Excellent. More bosses for the peeps to watch. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. God damn it. Yeah, now entered the... from the bad side. Oh, shit. Come this gay way. Oh, I fucked it. I was lucky. Whoa, I was extremely lucky. Or was it skill? Pure skill. Don't tell my mom. Man. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Kabu. Nymph, aren't you tired already, you old fart? Welcome to the stream, bro. That was totally unnecessary, but you never ignore a visceral. Hey, Valerdinakos, where have you been, you little traitor? Where's the love? Okay, so uh, this is where the ground breaks. Oh, you son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. But <laughs> anyone who has watched Berserk or read Berserk, to be, you know, to be more correct, because I didn't have anything to do with Berserk until about uh, three months ago. I sat my ass down, watched the 90s anime, watched the three movies, then watched the 2016 anime and the 2017 anime. Um, the two parts of the really bad anime that came out recently. Berserk, dude, it's spot on when it comes to the references in the FromSoft games. Like, they draw a ton of inspiration from Berserk. And Dragon's Dogma draws even more heavily from Berserk than uh, the Souls games. Dragon's Dogma 1 had Casca as a character. Like, pretty much one for one. And Griffith. So, um, yeah, man, Miura's work has been a tremendous influence. And when I'm thinking back on Berz Berserk, I'm thinking she started with the medieval military epic about the band of the Hawk that turns into a satanic, uh, paranatural situation. Then they added a bit more humor than I'd like, like Pac, I don't think really fits the theme. But, uh, you know, that's what they wanted to do. I totally respect that. But all in all, Berserk, a tremendous influence, not only when it comes to these games, but to pop culture in Oh my god, you freaking son of a bitch! I did not expect to get that much fire damage here. Hmm... I fell here on purpose. I don't remember if this allows a different uh, path. I don't think it does. Let's just get the pellets. But yeah, you just drop in here and then they gank you and kick your ass. Hey there, Steven. It is the day where I stream once more because you peeps made me very happy and I want you to watch more Bloodborne. Yeah, it's like the fourth wall breaking comic relief character. But dude, he's he's so he's overly cute for a character in a universe like Berserk, you know? Oh come on now. Hey Kron! Leave me alone, you rotten piece of shit. Visceral attack in your anus. There we are. Okay, the shortcut. Gambino! <laughs> Man, whenever I uh, I read Gambino, I remember the child is Gambino, you know, the musician actor. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, fear the old brat says I don't need read manga. I don't I don't think that's gonna be a thing for me. And I don't think they're gonna be making any more anime after the disaster that 2016 was. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how much more time I can invest in Berserk. But we'll see. You never know. Maybe I get the cards on for anime at some point and I want to watch more anime stuff. Eh, uh, sorry, manga. Anime I watch plenty. I recently watched... Uh, Castlevania Nocturne, which wasn't really a disaster, but it wasn't as good as the first one either. And it was a bit on the nose with the woke stuff. It was a bit... It was a bit hardcore on that regard. It had some very strong messages, I'll give it that. But then after a while, it was like... 
you know, the standard checklist situation where we have to have this and we have to have that. If we don't have every single one of the things that we are supposed to have, we're not doing, you know, humanity justice. Yeah. Well, the 2016 one was kind of a disaster, man. It was really whatever. The, the art was not on point. Sound was not on point. Writing was not on point. Isidoro, man. He was a freaking Teletubby, like... Wondrous firearm. Operate device. Boink. Guys, don't forget to drop your boy a like. Likes are free. Let's get to 30. You're not gonna turn because I'm not gonna let ya. Look how many people are playing because of the event, man. Like, faith in humanity restored. Volcrim, I play Helldivers, but last time I played Helldivers, I wanted to gouge my eyes out. Uh, we stumbled upon quite a few bugs. And uh, listen, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? The amount of repetition it takes to do the one game forever is uh, something that a balanced brain really can't handle. I can't... I cannot organically play the same thing for years on end. It's harmful to my state of mind. So uh, we're gonna play more Helldivers, but we can't only be playing the one thing. You know what I mean? So... Uh, yeah. Let's take it easy for a while. Let's take it easy. Let's play some, some more stuff. I fear the old blood. I have no idea about that. Nymph, if you're gonna uh, indulge in your neurosis about this genre, not really. If you have something productive to say, I am all for it, man. You know how much I love you. Despite your flaws. Yeah, it is a compromise. You could trust me and let me teach ya, and you will enjoy them as well. Okay, here's a shortcut, and here is... Ah, a new face. The I clan! And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> 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 I am Volta, master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs and mad doctors? Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. 
What do you say? Why not join the league? Join yes. the league. As a hunter, well Gav, why? Commit the start. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the league. Impurity! The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows, your league confederates. <laughs> no, there is one thing you must know. By the oath of the League, those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin are to be crushed. The League exists to expunge all vermin ridding us of any trace of human corruption. And so, until we are rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work. But remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing and each other. Always. Um, this guy, like, this guy is the leader of the League, and the Allies are the Confederates, man, like, South America all over again. To expunge. Do not and... Cabo, did you get the freaking item? Or did you lose the money for the item? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not gonna level up. Hey, Kabu. Kabu is not talking, but he just uh, had a sore throat and he wasn't muted. Like, if we ever uh, have Kabu on comms and he forgets to log out, I'll wait until he masturbates and we'll broadcast him. You sons of bitches. Most useless enemy in the game, man. If you just take it easy with the snakes, they're totally harmless.
One of the reasons I don't like the woods is how labyrinthine they are, man. Like, you can lose your way in here. Easy peasy Japanesey. <laughs> Volcrim, wishful thinking. Yeah, Jim, but you don't get surrounded by the snakes if you're effective, man. Hey there, Ronik, my brother! What's up? Always getting lost in this area, man. I hate the woods. Uh, Ronix is better. I think she's also watching. I don't know if he will be able to chat. But uh, from what she's telling me, she's feeling a little bit better. Okay, here in the... F oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. She's strong. You know, those younglings have strong immune systems. Can I go sneaky beaver? Well, not exactly what I was going for, but worked. Snakey snake! A nymph. I'll go, I'm gonna save you the indignity. Stop right there, bro. Stop right there. Stop. When you say something of merit, I, I'm gonna hear it. When you when you say shit like that, I have to save you from the indignity you're doing to yourself. We're talking a genre that redefined what tactical combat means. What is this noise? Oh, it's a big snakey snake. No, 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 no. Son of a gun. I'm too much of a pleb. <laughs> you are the best, Ronik. You are the kindest soul.
Um, you know what? When it comes to ranking the areas of video games, I usually go... Oh my god, yeah, the double biggie. I remember this. No point in me healing now. Okay, nice. I usually go with the starting area because the starting area is the one that puts you into the world of the game and usually has some, some very strong atmospheric elements. So I think Central Yarnam is my favorite as well. I love the Cathedral Ward. The Inner Cathedral Ward, is that how it's called? Inner or Old Cathedral Ward? You know, the one that is uh, overrun with eldritch monstrosities. And Yahar Ghul is very good as well. Yahar Ghul is spooky AF. Oh shit, it's Nymphus. Time for your colonoscopy! If you're into win attack that I am employing... It's because it's my favorite move with the axe, but not every weapon plays like the axe. If you wanna use the axe, you probably want to use it because of the spin to win. But it's not a requirement, it's just a very powerful ability. Oh, the grave set. That's great. That's great against uh, madness. Oh, shit. Okay. With the axe, it's all about positioning. If you use it in halberd form and you position yourself correctly, you can deal a lot of damage and risk very little retaliation. Your favorite is DS1. Okay. Um, Sekiro is not really a Souls-like. I, I wanted the poll to be about Souls-likes. But Sekiro is probably the greatest stealth action game ever made. Like, Sekiro's overall quality is nuts. I reinstalled Sekiro earlier, uh, just out of curiosity. I wanted to just uh, go in, try to get a couple of my trophies, and play a little bit of Sekiro. Sekiro is insanely well made. You play Sekiro and you're like... Why do all, all other games control like this? Like, Sekiro is the golden standard, you know? Oh, a Celestial Emissary. <laughs> wobbly wobbly! Oh yeah, it's the projectiles. Hey, 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 Thorin, my beloved! Oh my god! Sons of bitches! Ooh! I've never used a freaking cocktail with such effectiveness. That was... Mwah! Eat shit. Mm. 
Okay, excellent, Cabo. Volcrim, you know what my... Okay, I'm gonna talk to you about a personal uh, peeve. Um, when I was younger and playing, uh, you know, complex games like this, I used to hoard everything, man. I'd hoard consumables. You know that meme that says, why are you hoarding all these items? And the answer is for the final boss, and then he beats the final boss, and he never used anything. Well, that was my pet peeve for a long time. Especially when I was a youngling and was overthinking uh, my gaming sessions. What I have come to realize now, as a wiser person... Is that the items are there not just to make yourself uh, your time easier but also to make your enjoyment um, more oh shit he's gonna kick my ass chill nice Screw you, you fucker. Okay, uh, they also increase your enjoyment of the game. Because you use all that equipment in different and creative ways and you create uh, awesome gameplay for yourself. You make your own fun. So just hoarding the consumables... You're not really helping anyone, man. Like... You are diminishing your own, you know, time with the game. Sekiro is challenging, man. Sekiro has no easy mode. Sekiro is either you get good or you never watch credits. And uh, I remember <laughs> I once uh, angered one of my uh, acquaintances. Like, he's a guy who is very nice, very smart. But he can be a bit invasive. And I was fighting Sekiro, New Game Plus, and I was fighting against the optional battle with Owl, the Owl Father Boss. Extremely difficult fight to do, and in New Game Plus it was even worse. I was insanely angry, man. I wanted to punch the TV in, and he kept spamming me messages, I would see that pop up. On the top right of the screen, like, what are you doing there? What are you doing? What are you doing there? What are you doing? What are you doing? At some time, I sent him a message shitting all over him. Like, he was driving me insane. And then he didn't talk to me for like a year. <laughs> Dude, when you see someone playing Sekiro, you don't spam messages. Person is probably angry as fuck. How do I get up there? Oh, another mofo. Yeah, thanks for bringing the blood echoes in. Dumbass. Don't underestimate these assholes, man. Bro, if you were angry at the Pursuer, wait until you reach the, the snowfield. It is notoriously badly made. But, you know, let's talk it as it is, you know, because the team that played uh, Dark Souls 2, a very competent game if you compare it with anything that Miyazaki hasn't made, it is a very... It's very good. It's a very good game. It has imbalances, it has its issues, but it's overall a very good game compared to the non-from software average video game. But 
What people don't understand is that genius shows when you design something. You can have a strange game, but if it's not a Kojima game, just being strange probably means that it's not gonna be very enjoyable. Because if, if the genius is working on the game, a veritable genius of the industry is working on a game, the game has the genius factor on it. If the genius is not working on the game, the game can be just a quirky mess. So, uh, take Miyazaki out of the equation and it's, they're good games, but they're not games of this caliber or Sekiro's caliber or Elden Ring's caliber or Dark Souls, you know? Um, but Dark Souls 2 is good. Dark Souls 2 is good. They overdid it with the DLC in some areas. Like there is some nonsensical stuff in the DLC. You get ganked by 50 enemies at the same time. <laughs> yeah, Torin, Dark Souls 2 is a good game. Jim, of course, man. Before I was doing this for a living, I was doing this just to feel like I was helping people, my man. I'm still getting a ton of messages for those vids for Lies of P. It took those vids for Lies of P months to be discovered by the algo. I'm, I'm talking literal months. That vid I made about the endings, it's sitting at around 4,000 views now, but for the longest time it had like 300 views. Infuriating! I'm coming for your ass, bitch! Whoa, you're not dead?! Thanks for healing me. Fudge, it's a shortcut. The problem with Dark Souls 1 is that it is extremely clunky. Dark Souls 1 is an extremely clunky game. And even the remastered version, I don't know what they were thinking, but it had... For example, it doesn't have uh, omnidirectional dodge if you are locked onto the enemy. That is something that happened with the OG. I don't understand why they did not fix it with the remaster. But if you take the clankiness out and you forget that Lost Isolith ever existed, Dark Souls 1 is a great game. Come on, snacky snack. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Gav, I can, bro, but I need to open the shortcut here or we have to do the entire thing again. 
I'm trying to spare us the agony of doing the hoods two times. Give me a moment. Come on, Dark Souls Remastered is great. Guys, can you do me a favor? Uh, because I want everyone to be able to participate in the conversation and you are you're providing good input. Can we try to all uh, speak in English so we can understand each other? Because half the convo is in English and half the convo is in Greek. And I'm very happy to have uh, some more Greeks in the streams. And I know you can speak English, so let's make it easier for everyone. Now, where was that part of the map? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Steven is right, like, Greek is something that people who are not Greek will probably not speak, and you know, it's a community, it's a community event, man, like, the more people can communicate, the better it is for everyone. How the hell do I get up there? Okay, not right now. Exactly. Yeah, man, if you can find the, the whole trilogy, like, um, at a reasonable price, it's pretty much a great purchase. I found it with Clio a few months ago, like 30 euros for the entire trilogy, but I was a bit tight on the money back there, and I was like, mm, I will refrain. And I didn't get it, but I can get it online, on a sale or something. Okay, now, uh, there is a jump I failed earlier. There it is, there it is. Let's grab this first. Well, the trilogy gives you three of 
the best games of all time. There you go, Mr. Files. Well done. And it's the mask of the grave set. Man, the grave set is a life saver against the lanterns later. The lanterns are annoying. Oh, yo, yo. And then you're dead. Died of insanity. Get lost in this shit every time, Steven. I totally feel you, man. That's why I don't want to play the woods. It's not like the woods is not a good area, but it's a freaking labyrinth. Of woods. Might as well. Thirty-three likes, twenty peeps watching. Man, we're gonna turn this into a Bloodborne channel. Okay, that's not where we want to be. The first Souls game I ever played was the first Souls game ever to exist. Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3 imported from Canada. And I'm gonna tell you the story right now so you peeps enjoy. When I was about 20 years old, I used to work in a net cafe. You know, uh, one of the worst jobs you can do for a living. And it wasn't really for a living, but because the family money condition back then was quite good, you know, it was before the the troika situation that pretty much killed off the greek economy altogether um i used to collect a lot a lot more intently than i did for many years afterwards because by 2009 and the recession i couldn't afford to buy pretty much anything i was deep but like balls deep in poverty i was in a very bad spot so, um, back in 2009, like before the recession, before things went to shit, I used to collect very intently. And because I was getting a good amount of money from my parents, because I was studying uh, the college situation, I was like, I'm going to do a part-time job. Not exactly part-time, but it wasn't. It was like four days a week, eight hours, night shift in a net cafe. That there wasn't too much action. I was just like up to 12 uh, p.m. Like swap of the day. There was some work to be done, and then it was really chill. So what I was did was uh, watch YouTube, read reviews, and stuff like that. YouTube as it was back in the day, like the archaic YouTube. And uh, I saw a review on Gamespot that gave a 9 to a game called Demon's Souls. And back in the day, guys, I have to remind you, this industry took its sweet time to understand Souls likes. People just didn't get Souls likes. Can I drop here? Yes, I can. And because people didn't get Souls likes, Demon Souls didn't really get good reviews. Demon Souls was slaughtered by reviewers so um, I see that 9 on GameSpot and I'm like what's this oh man I got big crust uh, 
and I see the 9 on GameSpot and it's like uh, on the negatives of the review was like if you are not uh, in Canada or uh, yeah if you're not in North America or Japan you cannot play this game right now and I'm like well li this looks extremely interesting like hell I want I imported the game from Canada and played it on PlayStation 3 and because my copy was Canadian and the game pretty much didn't have European servers PvP and co-op was laggy AF but bro it was like a totally different industry it was so new and the things they did back then in comparison to your average action game like Demon's Souls was the holy grail and I played a shitload of Demon's Souls. I platinumed it. And then when it came out as a remake, I got the remake and platinumed it. You freaking rotten piece of shit. Hey, Salamandra cooking! <laughs> First time I see you, I would remember this username. Welcome to the stream, mate! Non Serviam! Hey! Well, um, Stellar Blade, I think, is gonna be really good. And uh, I am happy because they marketed Stellar Blade after the protagonist, the very hot protagonist, but they also made a good game. So if the game is good, they can add as much boob as they want to it, man. And it's a mix between Sekiro and Nier Automata. Yeah, man, when 7 Spot was around, you could rent stuff very easily around these parts. Uh, then it went to shit. The thing with 7 Spot is that they played it dirty because 7 Spot once ran this promo that you could give them 10 euros a month and rent as much stuff as you want. That pretty much killed off their competition. Every small video club had to close shop. And then they cancelled that subscription model uh, because they didn't have any competition. They were charging an arm and a leg. And then they went out of business. Serves them right on that part. But they provided some pretty good services for a time. Salamandra... Uh Final Fantasy 16 is Devil May Cry in the Final Fantasy universe. So, since I've been playing Devil May Cry for a thousand years, it's nothing like Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry is very directional input reliant. And uh, I, when I'm talking about Nier Automata, I'm talking more about the aesthetic and the way the, the world is uh, presented. Like soft tunes in the background destroyed beauty um pretty abstract enemies i'm not talking about the mechanics near automata combat wise is a very simple game but uh, for uh, the gameplay i'd say it's sekiro with more dodges i'll put it like that Um, no man, Stellar Blade goes to a to a spot where it becomes comical because uh, the protagonist is like th the the definition of a bombshell, like juicy peaches, juicy boobs, angel face, uh, melancholic uh, 
expressions, skin tight suits with a lot of alternatives to dress her up, like puppy eyes, all that shit. It's like 100% fan service. The fact that it is fan service is 100% true. But if there is a good game underneath that, I, it doesn't really matter as much. The problem right now, I, I, we have to make this abundantly clear. Uh, Sigourney Weaver was a doll when she was young. Um, Sarah Connor, come on. I'm experiencing a brain fart. Linda Hamilton, gorgeous when she was young, you know? Um, Karian Moss in The Matrix. You remember the, the moment where Karian Moss climbs on the motorcycle and you see her her backside and we were like oh my god Karian Moss the sexiest woman alive dude those were great movies with gorgeous female protagonists okay granted they were not always as scantily dressed but Ellen Ripley is wearing a tank top and uh, you know a tiny piece of underwear in, in Alien 1. It does, wasn't done for sexualization. She was getting into the cryopod. She looked like that. Now, were those great movies? Yes, there were great movies with gorgeous protagonists. The issue today is we get shit art, bad movies, badly written movies, and if you have the sex appeal in them, it's either the only thing you have, or they kill the sex appeal altogether, so some asshole on Twitter will give them a thumbs up. If you make something good and you want a sexy protagonist, by all means, man, as long as Ryan Gosling exists, it's all fair game. Uh, Cowboy was just coming to get you. Go have a smoke break and I'll get you right away. Uh, Salamandra, did you try to master the, the dodge out, dodge behind mechanic that the game has? Dude, the, the battles are very dynamic. Yeah, but we don't know what Eve is about, man. Maybe she's, she's an awesome uh, character with depth. Maybe she's just uh, there to sell the game. Is there gonna be good gameplay? I'm gonna give you an example, like Lies of P, man. In Lies of P, P doesn't make a sound. He barely creates any kind of... He, he, he barely presents any kind of emotional reaction when he gets hit. Pino doesn't ex extrude any kind of humanity. And that's what makes the game so atmospheric because Pino is uh, an automaton. A puppet. He sells himself for what he is. So that's the thing. What are they trying to do with Eve? Are they like automatons with feelings? Uh, are they uh, copy-paste of human minds into um, a recreated uh, exoskeleton? We don't know, but we'll, we'll see. And if what's done here is good, I'll be happy. Oh my god, the damage, man. The damage from these assholes. Nah, man. Stellar Blade 100%, bro. Scarlet Nexus for me was a totally whatever game. I didn't care for it at all. I played the demo and I was like, nah. Trying to do a bit of everything with... The... 
I'm gonna tell you what, man. Sell shaded anime designs. I've had a million of them. They're a dime a dozen at this point, and they're not really doing it for me. I've played a trillion games designed like that. It it outgrew its welcome. That's all I'm gonna say. That's why Kazan the First Berserker uh, caught my attention because when Kazan the First Berserker first dropped a trailer. I was like, not another anime hack and slash, bro, like, spare me. And then did that zoom out, and it was like those pastels um, with the very high contract mo contrast models against the environment. I was like, this? This is fresh. I can get behind this. But Scarlet Nexus was like anime design 101. Like, aren't they tired of doing that? They've been doing it for a thousand years. Enough! Okay, is this the path I missed? I don't think so. How do I get up there? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna get angry. There it is! <laughs> Volgrim, thank you for the vote of confidence and uh, Jim, you as well guys, thank you for trusting in what I say I try to analyze things as much as possible when someone asks for my opinion and if I can help you make an informed decision about something I am all for it like, that's pretty much why I'm here and to be able to eat Yes! Okay, so, uh, we clear the entire woods. And now we can get Kavu and do Hemwick and later on we'll come to Shadows of Yarnam. Let's face palm. Oh no! Dimitri is my man. Come and enjoy. Ready for you, Kavu. Uh, Jim, uh, you know my opinion about Rebirth. I am glad that people are gonna play it. And enjoy it, but I won't. Because Final Fantasy VII a Remake, the pacing was horrendous. And I can't play a game with a thousand mini games and kind of the same pacing. I know certain people enjoy this, I didn't enjoy this. Okay, should be here. Yeah, yeah, coming to Cathedral Ward. We are Kavuris, if you please. We are Kavuris, if you don't, please. Nyar. Oh my god, I have to run there again. No, Salamandra, I'd never play a Yakuza game. I respect the series, I know they're all good games, but if I played a game like Yakuza, I'd probably kill myself. Don't demonetize me, YouTube, I'm not actually gonna kill myself, I promise. I'll be a good lemming. Thank you, Volcrim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, guys. Oh, there you are. 
called Crown. Ramoli, dear. Is anything the matter? You can always tell me. Mother will make everything better. Was anything you'd like to tell me? Have my set of woes. You poor thing. But don't you worry. <laughs> this will help you forget. Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> Sedatives. Oh, are you in a bind again? <laughs> oh, but this will. Oh, are you. <laughs> oh, but this. <laughs> okay. I'm here, Kabu. Yeah, gold fart provided the salads. <laughs> Dude, if I download the demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and stream it for you and highlight every moment in that one hour demo that I was losing my mind because of what was on screen, you're gonna have a very good laugh. Dude, at some point when the, the town is burning, there is a barred door from the outside whilst the citizen is inside the house that is burning and he busses through the door and just stands there and looks at you. Who barricaded that guy there, man? The town just caught fire. It wasn't burning for a thousand years. Who barricaded? What are you wearing, you fart? Jesus Christ. Yaponia moments. Oh, we have to get to the... We have to get to the freaking um, bell ringer. Oh, we have an invasion on in our hands. Shut up, you crone! Okay, now we cannot be invaded. Uh, yeah, the matrix was model after Prague, so it is Prague. Oh, you bought the Kirkhammer? A manly weapon. Yeah, Nymph, you can get invaded if you summon a cooperator. Uh, another player can invade you and try to kill you. This is pretty much in all the Souls games. Oh, you son of a bitch. My health pool is tiny, man. Cap, where do you wanna go? Hey, hey, hey! What's up, Ronan? Rise of Ronin is a very good game. It's very good. It has its weaknesses and they stem from the fact that Team Ninja hasn't done open world before. But it's a very good game, has very good combat system and as far as time wasters go, it's a game that you can play for a lot of hours and have a really good time with the combat. Exploration is good, just but nothing special, to be honest. Code Vein I did not play because I thought it was too silly for my tastes. Like that attempt at putting the edgy with the cool and all that, it, it, it seemed kind of dumb to me. 
A game that I skipped and I wanna play is Thymesia. Thymesia is supposed to be short and sweet. But Cold Vein didn't really do it for me. Also, man, games that allow you to buff 50 times, I generally don't want to play. Because the, the limit of what you can do is tied to how much patience you have to apply the buffs. I don't want to be able to apply 50 buffs, man. A buff on my weapon and a buff on myself. Buffing shouldn't be half the gameplay. Yeah, non servium. It is very good. Okay, we need some numbing mist. Coming, Kavu. Don't die. Oh my god. Visceral attack! Dude, we've kicked her ass. Poor thing is getting slaughtered. Kicked her ass! <laughs> Edgy! <laughs> that was so good! Giant beast! Uh, the, uh, the Surge, I've played both of the Surge games. I love the first one. The second one was good, but kind of whatever. The world building didn't make any sense. The Surge one is a very focused, very well-made game. I like the Surge. But guys, Lies of P uh, was excellent. Everyone should play Lies of P. Lords of the Fallen had its problems, but it is a very good game. Like, Lords of the Fallen is pretty great. Lord of the Fallen had a lot of issues with performance and with enemy density, and then they patched and patched and patched and patched and pretty much fixed everything. When it came out, it wasn't perfect, but yeah, we all know that. Where's the doll? Oh, there you are. Sweet thing. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Time to level up. No, no, Jim, if you play it now, you're gonna like it, man. It's good. The dredge is supposed to be very good, man. Um, go to Hemwick, Kavu. You'll invite me in Hemwick. Go up Cathedral Ward and before the church, take a left. And um, there's Hemwick. Farewell, may you. Reach the first lantern and you can invite me. Okay, now I have a lot... Slow poison resistance, boost transformation, increases frenzy resistance, bolt damage reduction, physical damage reduction, more visceral, more bullets, more vials, raises stamina, this is excellent, raises HP, okay. This. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, great. Now we have three slots. Ronin, uh, we are playing uh, two player co op at the moment, but it can be up to three. Salamandra, Lords of the Fallen's mechanics are a bit loose, but it's not like the game is not easily played, you know? It is very functional, it's just a bit loose. That's how I'm gonna put it. Where the hell is the notebook, man? I never got the notebook. Dimitris Achilles Legends of Troy is not good. I played it on the stream. I was really scratching my head. Yeah, non Serbia, I agree. Silent Hill 2 remake. Let's hope that's gonna, gonna be good, man. I don't think it will be very good, though. I played it on PC Volcrim and it played excellently. Like by the time PC was playing pretty much perfect, consoles were still not uh, managing it to play it very well. But I think now it plays well on everything. Loose like subs, bum. Floppy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nymph. Comrade in arms. How much do I need for a level up? Very well. Let me see. I need nine more thousand. Farewell, may you. Can I get me nine thousands? That's three. That's eight. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me stand. Resident Evil 7 is also it's almost a 10 out of 10 game. You can't expect them all to be 10 out of 10 games, man. Like It is it is awesome. You'll never hear me say anything bad about Resident Evil 4 remake. Like it blew me away. I was pretty sure it was going to be great, but it was like beyond my expectations. I watched X-Files when I was really young. Oh, the vote is 51% in favor of Bloodborne. Shit. Ah, okay, you're in Hemwick? Excellent. Uh, worst Greek themed game I've ever played. I don't know, that uh, 1821 strategy game from like 20 years ago, that was pretty shit. That was, that was a steaming third. If you're gonna go loosely about Ancient Greece, loosely, I'd take, I'll, I'd take the original God of War games. But you know, there is no not one shred of uh, mythological accuracy there. It's it's God of War. If you wanna be more uh, close to what Greece would be like, is there such a game? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think there is such a game. The Kaburis! <laughs> Cleo is taking pictures of me and then sends me the pictures to troll me. She's a keeper, bro, I'm telling you. Go, Kaburis! Oh man, I'm so overpowered. Can't touch this. Ding, 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 ding. Speak to this window. Volcrim, I hate the direction Assassin's Creed took with those grind fests, man. So, nah. Oh, we killed Amelia. Oh, yeah, that's how I lost the girly subplot. If you kill Amelia, you... Uh, the knight moves forward and you can lose events. Dimitris, what's, what's bad about being serious about your favorite hobby, man? If you're not serious about the things you love, the only thing you end up being serious about is the things that make you suffer, like work. If you want my opinion, as long as it doesn't become a detriment to your survival, give all you have to the things and the people you love. Give more energy to the things you choose, not what you have to do. You'll be a happier person. Like I'm hard dashing pretty... Pretty hard on gaming. I, does, I don't become stressed over bullshit as I used to. Because back in my Destiny days, I would get stressed uh, over the results in Trials of Osiris, for example. Which, it's, it's a bit nonsense. But you know, it's something that... Uh, that fueled me, man. Oh, Cabo with his huge ass hammer, man. Wait, us poodle. <laughs> man, the Kirk hammer is badass. Oh, the Maiden is here. Uh, Cabo, activate this. Oh, sweet poodle. What do you mean series? Are you, do you mean intellectual property? Like, if it's Lord of the Rings, you buy it? Uh, not caring about whether it's a good game or not? No, that's stupid. First and foremost, we should put our money where quality is. If something is shit, doesn't matter what the IP says. We don't buy shit. That's the primordial sin. 
But if you like the developers, if you have a good history with the developers, that's a different story. Because that means you appreciate their work. And even if they take a misstep, you can trust that they maybe they will fix it. Cavo. Hour of victory, man, that was a pile of shit. What do you mean, Salamandra? Um, don't, 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 don't kill her, Cav. Maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get invaded. Let's go. Yeah, man, but Armor Court 6 is is awesome, bro. So, doesn't matter. You see from software, 9 out of 10 times, it's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, Ronic, for example, bought Mass Effect Andromeda. That's a piece of shit. But Ronic played a lot of its multiplayer. That's arguably a very good buy, you know? Double whammy. I'm on fire, baby. Slice and dice. Bye bye. This way, Cabo. Oh, thank you, Jim. You're awesome, bro. Bro, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't uh, buy Ubisoft games on principle. They can F off. Why are we not getting invaded, man? Materials in here, Cav, we need to kill it fast. Oh, did you kill it? What the hell? Hmm. Hey, Dimitris, uh, you mean the new side-scrolling Prince of Persia? That's good. That's a good one. Uh, the, how was it called? 
Kaiba, Ninja Gaiden Zeta, something like this. Yeah, that was shit. That was shit. Lost Crown is good, man. I never said anything about Lost Crown, but Lost Crown is not the game Ubisoft is milking. And it is a rare case of Ubisoft not milking a game, an IP. So Lost Crown, yeah, sure. But it is the exception, not the rule. And don't forget, guys, they didn't gonna go and made a huge ass AAA 3D Prince of Persia. They keep the money handy for Assassin's Creed. They made a small 2D Prince of Persia. Tells you all you need to know about Ubisoft. What? Um, um, I'll show you something after this, and we can discuss Assassin's Creed. Okay, first witch is gone. From software made... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one we're talking about, Dimitris. The... That shit... Game where you, you play as the bad guy who tries to find Ryu Hayabusa and kill him. That was a disaster. Okay. Oh, get smashed. Nice, Kabu. I support Kick Ham Kirk Hammer Supremacy. My hits didn't register at all. I'm getting trolled. And then there were none. Edgy. <laughs> the time has come to bid farewell. Okay, I'm gonna show you something about my time with Assassin's Creed. So this is Altair from the collector's edition of the very first Assassin's Creed. Okay, I had faith in this IP before it was the big thing. The problem with Assassin's Creed is that... Assassin's Creed 1 was not a very good game that was supported by very good technology. They improved it vastly with the second one. Then they kept doing the second one again and again. Then they did uh, Pirate Assassin's Creed. And then they did Endless Grind Assassin's Creed. So for me this series has been creatively bankrupt for a really long time. It was never great. At its peak, uh, the Ezio saga, they were 
okay games and then they took a really big nose dive quality wise in order to you know push forward the microtransactions yeah yeah exactly Kavu. exactly like their whole backbone for assassin's creed was pretty much nonsense that was my issue uh afterwards they just kept calling it assassin's creed so they could monetize it they it's freaking stupid, man. Like, then again, it's Ubisoft. What do you expect? A masterpiece? Okay. Hemwick done. Um, the woods. That's actually the time when Ubisoft started big Ubisoft. Up until then, they were putting out Splinter Cell games, which were excellent. Prince of Persia games, which were excellent. The occasional, you know, sleeper hit like Beyond Good and Evil. Then they became the Ubisoft of tomorrow. Yeah, Unity was first gen for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Many people who play Assassin's Creed now say that Unity was one of the best. I have no opinion on the matter. Okay, Forbidden Woods, Kabu. No, you have to go around the... You have to go around the cathedral and find the entrance to the woods. Watch a vid so it doesn't take us 5,000 years. I'll try to invade someone until then. I'll be the asshole. Come on. Jim, I suppose you were pretty sold on Assassin's Creed, bruh. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Come on, let me invade. Let Samuel L. Jackson invade. Yes! We're invading! <laughs> Grit. There they are. Hey there, Saberino. What's up, Pino? Oh, they're further in. Okay. They died. Igrit, no. Oh, cooperator Yokai has died. 
So it's one on one now. Okay, uh, this enemy is holding the blood echoes of this player. So the player will come for this enemy. And will be waiting. There they are. They're gonna open the shortcut. Maximus! Where's the shortcut? <sighs> there they are. Come back, Egret! Just wanna talk! I'll be good! Edgy! <laughs> I haven't even played a person in years! Victory for the asshole! <laughs> okay, Kavu, are you in the woods? Don't wanna invade Ygritte again. I won't be able to go to church afterwards. Yeah, they healed quite a few times, but I'm gonna let it slide. Oh wait, I saved uh, a picture by mistake. Let's delete it before I end up having 50 whatever's here. Uh, the thing is... I was not invading for a duel, I was invading whilst they were PvPing, so it was two people, they would probably have ganked me. And when we saw the other person, the other person didn't bow, they just went about their merry business, and they also healed quite a bit. So that's not an honorable duel, that's more an invasion like a... Uh, how should I put it? That's everything goes. Gunk, gunk and shank. <laughs> gunk the skunk. That's an alternative. Can we get 50 likes, peeps? Let's go! Beaver! Welcome! What's up? My bro, it's going well. I just invaded the person and beat them, which enlarged my e penis by 1.69 centimeters. And uh, yeah, it's good. Excellent beef, excellent. 
What? No, I'm ringing the small one. Yeah. Oh, you wanna do mine? No, let's do yours. Let's do yours. Ring the biggie. Ring the biggie. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's activate the trap. Okay. Went through the floor. No, my loot, my loot, big. Wow. Nice cab! Let them have it! Yes! Nice! I told you we're gonna spring the trap! Bivi, so glad to have you here, bro. I love you. Cheers. Nice. Bayonetta versus Devil May Cry 3. Um, Bayonetta... In Bayonetta you can implement more techniques to make... Uh, to make Bayo a powerhouse. But Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 4 and Devil May Cry 5 that improved upon the formula if you are precise with these games, you can do some pretty insane things. I'd put them toe to toe, and some parts I'd say DMC does it better, and some parts I'd say Bio does it better. Hey, Theodore! Glad you're enjoying! Come keep us company! Where did the door come from? I'll leave you, Cav.
Nice cav. <laughs> no idea where I'm going. I died immediately. <laughs> Sub, yeah, man, it's it's excellent. Dodge at the crow. Okay, ringing it again. Man, I remember with Bio you could put the bazookas on her feet, and you would do the combo that fired the pistols really fast with the the feet pistol. But you could swap weapons mid-combo with the bazookas and then you could unleash a, an insanely fast barrage of bazooka shots from her heels, decimating anything in front of you. Like, Bayonetta had some pretty broken stuff. Uh, I would say that I like the lore of Devil May Cry much more than Bayonetta's. Bayonetta is a bit spoofy. Actually, Miyazaki is a pretty uh, optimistic person, Nymph. But he has this uh, ethos when it, he creates stuff. He likes the, the world to be pessimistic and brutal, but for it to have a certain uh, beauty and charm. Which he always succeeds at doing, even when it's Bloodborne and everything looks like shit. Look at this, the lamp was actually a physical object. This lamp on a PlayStation 4 game I broke with my axe. And we're talking a fucking forest of these things. Like the attention to detail is... Mwah! This guy. The stone's finished! <laughs> Dude! Bro, I almost beat the dust. We're talking 1% HP. Uh, no, man, Ninja Gaiden was never as technical as Devil May Cry. Ninja Gaiden is very technical, but Ninja Gaiden... Uh, didn't really have, you know, the just frames on your... Reposts and stuff that Devil May Cry had, like the counter attacks in Ninja Gaiden were extremely easy to pull off. And also Ninja Gaiden had an issue with extremely beefy enemies. Yes! We got invaded! Okay, we're not gonna gank him, we're gonna honor duel the guy, okay? I will be your champion, Kavu! Where is the guy? Hey there! Edgy. No, don't shoot me. I'm trying to 1v1 you here. Don't heal, bro. What are you doing? Don't heal! We're having a duel! Okay, you heal. I heal. Eeeh! 
bitch! Oh, this guy lacks healing. This is a clusterfuck. I don't like this guy. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, fine. We lost this. But there was something off because... First and foremost, he doesn't have to have an honor duel. He was healing, and then I started healing. When he pulled out the shock cleaver, he was dealing like half my HP in one hit, which probably means he has grinded for the shock cleaver, and uh, the other weapon was like a secondary. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what kind of upgrade he's, he was at, but probably more upgraded than I was. If he kills Cav, we're gonna go back at it, but this was a clusterfuck, of course it was an invasion. If we wanted to play it like an invasion, Cav would have also come in and you, we would have ganked him, that we didn't. So, it's okay, that's a loss, it's fine. I must have what is Very well, let me... Bye bye, Sabi. Farewell, good. May you. Yeah, you can expect the over leveled people to be. I don't even know if he was over leveled. I don't want to shit talk the guy. It's fine. Gav, don't worry about it, my man. We'll get your balls back. No, 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 no. That's probably bad. Uh, either bad connection or the distance. Might He might have been playing from the other side of the planet. Maximus, uh, it looks very good. Stellar Blade has convinced me. I have rung the small bell. Cavuiz. Hey, German, I disagree. I think Rise of the Ronin is good, but I'm glad you enjoyed the game you bought, bro. I also did a mini review for Joystick for Rise of the Ronin. <laughs> okay, let's go, Cav.
Away! Away! It has the Team Ninja aesthetics, man. That's how they design their stuff. You either take it or leave it, to be honest. I personally like their aesthetics. I don't like the tech the game employs, because... In open world you can show more, and if you don't pay attention to detail... You're gonna show more of a bad thing. But... Uh, I don't think it's an ugly game. I made an options uh, video, German, about how to use your settings to get the best possible picture and all that. So uh, if you want, you can watch it and you'll probably find something useful. Okay, this way. Open this door, Cav. Yeah, yeah, of course, German. Be my guest, man. And if you need any additional info, hit me up. Wulong... Wulong wasn't really a pretty game. Neo 1 and Neo 2 were very pretty. I don't understand why they went backwards. Yeah, Wulong also has vibrant colors, man. ASB! Happy return to Yarnam to you too, my friend. Thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy. Where do you hail from? Okay, let's open the shortcuts before we get invaded again. Come on, are you kidding me? is close. Because it was a PlayStation 4 game that held 60 frames very easily whilst looking good. And remember, when Neo came out, it, it was like the most robust like technical combat game you could find. Neo still is the most uh, the most in-depth combat system in the market. Neo's combat system is unparalleled, so it was getting nines because it was doing em almost everything it could perfectly. Now, so many years later, you expect the new thing to have something better to show, not make compromises, because Rise of the Ronin makes a lot of compromises. SB, so glad to have new people here. Thank you for joining. 
Enjoy the return to Yarnum. Rise, son of Rome. Rise uh, had pretty impressive models. I, I wouldn't say that the whole game was the prettiest thing ever. But it has some pretty impressive models. Yeah, Kabu here. Open the door, damas! <laughs> Noise! Yeah, it was an Xbox exclusive. Some good that did it. Crytek almost went under after that game. Betting on the Xbox One wasn't even like betting on the old horse, it was like betting on the dead horse. The Xbox One was a piece of shit console. Xbox One pretty much ruined the Xbox brand. Until Gears of War 5 came out... Gears 5... There wasn't really any big highlight to... To Xbox One, and that was better played on the... One X. That's some criteria to put your money into something, Ronic. Cap, where are you? Hmm. I'm with ya. Let's go. Cabo Shield, bro. Being half HP, you're inviting disaster. It poisoned me? Son of a bitch. Pro choice, pro choice.
I'm playing on a 120Hz 4K Sony. VRR enabled. Three of them? Dude, Kabu is deader than the Greek economy. What the hell did you do there, bruh? What the hell did you do there, Kav? Uh, no, it's not OLED. It's... Um, I think it's LED. Yeah, well, Metal Gear Solid 5 is in no way better than Bloodborne as a complete creation, but Metal Gear Solid 5 is its also a great game for its genre, so I'm not gonna shit talk it. Hey, Pedrellas, you didn't have plat? Oh my god. What have you been doing for 300 hours, bro? What are you missing? Yarnam? The Queen? Or something else? Maybe the Chalice Dungeons? Man, the Chalice Dungeons. Some of them were... Jesus Christ. Okay, you missed some chalice stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure you're gonna make it. Okay, Kabu, let's go for life. I swear to God, if you just went straight and died by jumping off, I'd be trolling you for a thousand years. SB, that is true. That is absolutely true. Cav, where are you, man? I took my eyes off the... Ah. Cavu, you son of a bitch. I remember the one where you had half your health and you fought uh, Amygdala at the end. Dude, that was sadism. That was pure sadism. Dimitris, be well, my man. Good night. Thank you for keeping us company.
Oh man. Sì, fra mi timbers. There you go. Okay, this way, Cav. Nice boy. Solid. Didn't have time to fart this one. Held it in, became a blowfish. How the hell did I not use health here? What magic is this? <laughs> we have to reach the bog. Yeah, this way. Big careful. Not this way, Cap. No, 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 no. This way, uh, we can go back to the dungeon and open the shortcut.
Careful here, this one hits real hard. Do you have a Molotov? Nice. Excellent. Another one bites the dust. Boom, boom, boom. This way. There is a rune down here, careful of the rotten mothos. Nice cabo. Upwards is the shortcut. Welcome to the stream, guys. What's up? Having fun with Bloodborne during the event? Nice, my boy. Okay, Shadows of Yarnam. Nice cav, nice damage. Okay, one shadow is done. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
Okay, nice. Victory! Edgy. This event uh, calls back players from, you know, the release of the game years ago to participate in co-op and PvP for a few days each year. And people flock around and uh, reinvigorate the servers. <laughs> yeah, they look a bit like Nazgul's. But dude, that's racist. Okay, I'm gonna level up for a bit. Okay, my woods now, Cav. I like the Shadows of Yarnam fight. The only thing I don't like about the Shadows of Yarnam fight is that you have to trek quite a bit to reach the arena again. Okay. Upgrade. Okay, ready? Welcome to the stream, guys! Hope you're enjoying the game once again! Tell me how you found the channel! You ring the small bell, Gav. Don't get confused, my boy. Nice. We are Kavuris, if you please. Cleo, amazing! <laughs> it's amazing! Ooh, fantastic! Mm. 
Hmm. Where is the other shortcut? It's never too late though. Uh, guys, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna share something wholesome with you. Like yesterday, leading into today, we must have gotten like 300 people across all my platforms. 70 subscribers here on YouTube, about 20 followers on Twitch, uh, Twitter, everywhere. Like. At ton of new people and that makes me so happy like this was a very very good choice to stream after all and i hope i'll uh, live up to the vote of confidence ignore them cab ignore them Dude. Oh, you asshole. One down. Oh, the tentacle porn! Visceral! No! Why did you do Ah, oh, come on! I wanted the vis! Cavu, no! We lost Cavu! No! My Kavu is dead. Now I have to adapt another. Grant us eyes, grant us eyes. Okay, Bergenworth. Grabbing my levels, and you invite me. Uh, yeah, in Bergenworth normally. So, you invite me. By the way... 
it would be a good idea to do Yahar Ghul before this and also go from the back woods and uh, get into Yosefka's clinic. Uh, do that, do that solo, Kav. Very well, let me... As you go to the cathedral, go right down past the Axeman. Farewell, may you... We need to do this before we get in there or we're gonna miss a ton of content. Pidrellas, I had a lot, man. I did a lot of level... 40 PvP, I lead a lot of level 80 PvP. I have a character who's like 240, my very first one. So uh, I wouldn't say main character, you know. Farewell, good this one I think I'm gonna leave at around 120. Okay, Cav, uh, let's do yours then. Let's do yours up to the boss so I can come back and do my secondaries afterwards. Bergenworth. One twenty five. Okay. I think in Elden Ring it's 150, and in Dark Souls 2 it was 150, 100%. Thank you for the sub! Success. Let's go, Cav. Deal a lot of damage. Are oh, you summon the AI companion? <laughs> nice. Mind player. Bro, they have a lot of health. Uh, Duncan, what are you talking about? What rumor? Haven't heard anything. This is a shortcut, right? Yeah. Careful, the fireballs.
Yeah, probably AI generated nonsense, bro. Holes there, one with an axe, uh, two with an axe, and one with a hammer just chopping away. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred, and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Grant us eyes, grant us eyes. Yeah, the hunter uh, AI opponents are a bit broken. We're right before the boss, so might as well. Boom. Nicholas is like the trolliest boss ever conceived by the minds of man. Move, younger Madara twin! I can't walk here. Thanks. Damas. Mikolas only becomes a problem after New Game Plus, because in New Game Plus, man, his call from beyond deals insane damage. Insane. He one hit kills you in easily. I shared that and I was like, it's probably not the AI, it's probably Kavuri's. <laughs> Why did you go in the freaking formation, man? Like, there was a thousand of them. <laughs>
Cava, are you alive? Okay. This game deserves to be... No, don't remake this. Like It's like trying to capture lightning in a bottle twice. Better frame rates, HDR, higher resolution, and leave it as it is. It's... it's... Mm. Bloodborne is life, bro. Yeah, they have to be rest up, but you know the the proper makeover. But don't change stuff. Don't reimagine stuff. Don't go blue points way. You know. Yeah, bro, I wouldn't mind buying this. Like, it's been 10 years. Almost 10 years. I wouldn't mind rebuying Bloodborne. Like, I've rebought remakes and remasters of much lesser games. Kabu, you're dying! No, 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 no. Sons of bitches. I didn't mean to do that, god damn it. Okay, nice. Round two. Meteorites. Oh my god, how did I survive this? Shit! Okay, you're open there, beat him up. Away, 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 away. Roll.
thought it was a dick here away from death. No. <laughs> We're not gonna let them kill our crabs. I don't know how much vitality do you have, bro? If you have less than 30, you're pretty low. Well, his cavuries. He's the Crab Whisperer. Okay, yeah. You probably have like 20 vitality, that's why we're dying like a third. Grant us eyes, grant us eyes. That was you. Did Jesus go back to church? Okay. Almost 60 likes. Careful when he is thrusting left and right, Cav.
Careful, Gav. Careful, 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 get out of there! Nice. You're dead. <sighs> Edgy. <clears throat> Samuel L. Jackson prevails. Time for the level up. -oo. Okay, we're gonna go into Yosefka's clinic. Because uh, we need to grab those to have a nice playthrough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ronek, my man. Does it tell me how much I need? No. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me stand. Bye bye, Cav. Thank you for playing, my bro. Good shit. Very How much well. do I need? I need 20,000, which means I have to extract 17.6 thousand out of gems and shit. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Fire pa paper is 420. 420 sons of bitches. Let's open the clinic. This is gonna be AIDS. You're dead. You'll grab me when I say you will.
Ah, sneezy, sneezy. <laughs> Ox morphos. Oh, yeah, son of a bitch. Get fired. Ah, the little asshole escaped. There are two. Uh, material dropping lizards here. Unless you're co-oping, it's very difficult to get them both. Hey, Panos. Yeah, I remember it correctly. This is where you get grabbed by the amygdala. Um, how do you go to the backwards woods to get into Yosefka's clinic? I mean, we could go and do Yahar Ghul. Can upgrade and then we can go and do Yahar Ghul. Okay, Volcrane, be well. Panos, can you be a bit more specific? Like which area we start from and all that? Yeah, yeah, look it up if you don't mind, my man. Are we reading 60 likes, peeps? <laughs> Leo is still trolling me using the cell phone. Little poo poo. <laughs> what is it? Very well, let. Farewell, good may you.
Yeah, let's put passive region on the gun. Because we're going trick form all the time anyway, so... <laughs> so... Let's wait for Panos to remind us how to get to Yosefka's clinic. Do I have the church grab? Garb, sorry. Ah, yeah, Black Church. There it is. So you can go, we can go to Gyahargul, but Gyahargul is a bit more challenging. And can someone tell me where the hell the notebook is, man? Okay, start at the start of the woods. Okay. Are you gonna pay for this insolence? <laughs> Run down meaning continue da down the, the main path? Okay. Bro, you're absolutely correct. Now that rings a bell. But I don't remember exactly. That's the flower bed, I think. Axe meets face. Yeah, I think that's it. I think this is it.
Let's search around here so we don't have to come again later. We don't need to close this. Oh, the snatcher! You son of a bitch! Oh, this is what the Molotov assholes are. Yeah, that's not it. Hmm. That is not it. Gotta go back. Yes, SB. Uh, Panos gave me instructions, but I think I'm missing something. The direction we found the dogs in. So we had dogs here. Yes! So close, bro. Nice, Panos. Nice. Hey, Panos. Yeah, don't jump here, Mr. Fyoth. I'm here, you son of a bitch. So this is low poison, right? Okay, let's clear this area.
Tape worms, man. Bloody tape worms, I'm telling ya. Gotta cure them. Get them off the anus. Where is the cannon? The cannon is somewhere around here, isn't it? The windmill behind the forbidden woods. Fucking hate these guys. A swell idea, Nightbot. Something for the peeps to consider. Yesefka's Clinic. Gain her summons. Yeah, baby. What? Can't get any more of Yosefka's blood. Now we can. Okay, so it's the very start of the game. Can someone check the actual path to the cannon so you can let me know? I'll buy you cookies, I swear. Because if I'm gonna go Hunter's Axe, I might as well have a bazooka. Hunter. 
if you don't kill her heal, you can come back and get one third umbilical from her, right? Oh man. You piece of shit. You gotta be more aggressive, she's healing like a bitch, man. If you don't have enough damage here, this fight is greatly prolonged. There you go, you shit. Fuck off. Get in the corner. Yeah, yeah. She only drops the cord if she's on the table. That is right. Well, I, I would. It's not a perfect playthrough, so it's fine. By the way, guys, this is not Yosefka. In case you have gaps in the mythology, Yosefka is killed by this asshole here. This church asshole. And uh, pretends to be Yosefka, so he sent her innocents, and she transforms them into aliens. These suckers here. Is there is also a path that leads upwards and you can get up to the rafters of this place? Yes, there is. You can go up there. How do you go up there? Any chance there is another path? Or do you enter this from another area altogether?
It's been a while. Can't remember at all. I know there is a way to go up to the rafters of this place, but I don't remember. As for the cannon, it should be behind the windmill. And also, we did not find the monster patient in the woods. Game is seeping in secrets, man. I, I don't remember everything my, by heart anymore. It's been a long while. Okay, anyone remember the path to the to the cannon? So I can go and grab it real quick. A werewolf stopped respawning here. Okay. There is a ladder that takes you up there. Except if I'm experiencing a brain fart. Could be. Hmm. The woods behind the windmill. Let me let me have a peek. I will use the power of the internet. I will use the power of the internet. Yeah, that was that was an accident. To find the cannon real quick. One second, peeps. This is to want to take just one sec because I, I don't remember, frankly. Yes, now I remember. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, we went very close to its location, but we didn't get it. So let's grab it real quick. Welcome to the Very 
let me see. Quite easy if you have opened the shortcuts. This asshole. It's this. Oh, blimey. Don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Oh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Oh, yeah, of course not. I should have known. This whole place is falling apart once again. It's the curse of Yarnum. Have you got a screw loose? Or is it your animal intuition? You hunters have got more blood on your hands. Yeah, this monstrosity here is as strong as a boss. Best idea is to cheese it here. What's the damage of this asshole, man? Screw you! If you fight him fair and square up here, you're pretty much 
screwed. Very high damage output. Okay. I think the cannon is down there. Yeah, man, how <laughs> we're cooking. Noise. Okay. Now the cannon is probably the gun we will be using because it's ridiculous. Yep. Cannon is chat gun. I will uh, share a link on Discord tonight. One of my first montages ever. Uh, it's called The Doll Joins the Hunt and it's from a, pl a, a series of uh, of vids I wanted to make back in the day of me cosplaying as a really low level doll character with the cannon because I did the Yosefka glitch back in the day. It's glorious. I suggest you watch it. Okay, cannon it is. What's the issue? 30 strength and 13 dexterity. Hmm. Okay. 30 strength, 13 dexterity. How much dexterity do we have? Skill. 9. Shit. Yeah, we're not gonna reach the needed threshold here. No way, sir. Okay, we'll stick to the blunderbuss for a bit more. And uh, next session we're going 13 on skill. And we need, we need 9 levels. In 9 levels we will be able to, to get the cannon. And that will be pretty much the build. Uh, Hunter sucks cannon. Let's change the carils for one. What was this? The notebook. Why now? Why wasn't it there earlier? Jesus Christ. Fire blood function, film sudden. Yeah, it's okay. Let's read this. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Okay, peeps, so this is gonna be it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. This was an out of schedule stream, of course, because Tuesdays we usually don't stream, but we'll be streaming tomorrow according to our schedule. Tune in at the same time, and if you want to support the channel, please consider Patreon, the Buy Me A Coffee platform, direct PayPal, you can get a membership here, or subscribe on Twitch with your Prime, or normally. Every little bit helps. Uh, until next time, we will stay frozen and always travel perfection. Cheers.